This is Jill Rahman from Bangladesh, student in IIUM, International Islamic University, Malaysia. This uh, Muslim university, then a uh, lot of scholars come here and for higher study. Air accommodations and food, communications, everything is awesome. I like it very much. And the uh, IIUM, food quality is very good. And uh, here, Nasi Lama and uh, Nasi Bute. Nasi goreng, I like it very much. Here, uh, local some students and uh, uh, teachers, they make this awesome food. Sometimes they cooperate us their uh, local food, their serendang, we love it. Thank you very much. Yoshitakarusaki and I'm a student at Monash University, Malaysia. First of all, when you travel to Malaysia, you will need to go to a Malaysia embassy in Tokyo to obtain a single entry visa. And remember to download the My Signature apps to your smartphone before your flight. On the day of my departure to Malaysia, the check-in process takes longer than usual, so make sure you arrive at the airport earlier than usual. On arrival in Malaysia, it takes approximately 3-4 to four hours to reach your quarantine hotel. The room was very clean and had a good Wi-Fi connection. The food provided is also good. On the day I was released from the quarantine, a driver arranged by the university picked me up from the hotel to my condominiums. Hi, my name is Yu Hongshi from China. Currently, I'm doing my internship in Malaysia and also I've been in Malaysia for almost three years. English is widely spoken in Malaysia, so it's good for international students and also help me improve my English. Malaysia tuition fee is really affordable. After graduation, I can receive dual degree from local university, the other from UK, US or Australia. Here is close to Singapore and Thailand. Fly from Malaysia to other places like one hour or two hours, which is kind of like saving you a lot of time. Living cost is kind of lower compared to other Western countries. Studying Malaysia literally teach me a lot, like how to live independent, how to take care of myself. Hello guys, good day to you all. Welcome again to EMGS course talk series. In the next five minutes, we will be uncovering some of the courses and program details with the guests of the day. So stay tuned with us until the end of the program. Feel free to raise any questions throughout the session. Our team will attend to the question as soon as possible. Before that, please click the like button on our Facebook page and follow our social media to get the latest updates about study in Malaysia. Today, we have a special guest from UCSI University, Professor Dr. Shamala Dean. She is the Deputy Dean for Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences at UCSI University. Now, Professor Dr. Shamala Devi will share with us about Doctor of Medicine program at UCSI University, Spring Hill, Negeri Sembilan Campus. Welcome, Professor. How are you doing today? Good. 
Right. I'd like, first of all, to welcome each and every one of you to UCSI University, especially to our brand new modern facility at Spring Hill Campus, where you will be the pioneering batch of students. Now, this campus is dedicated to the teaching and learning and enriching your overall experience as a student. It will also help you to enhance your preparation for the clinical years. And all this is actually undertaken for the good of each and every one of you. So at Spring Hill, we have personalized teaching among staff that are dedicated towards the medical profession. And you are situated in a modern state-of-the-art hospital, which is destined to be the destination for clinical care and medical research for this country and maybe for the region too, okay? Now at Spring Hill, you'd find that there is minimal distraction and you are not diluted among all the other faculties. You're actually in a campus where the hospital is located. What makes our program uh, from UCSI different or so special and very unique is that you will now have a brand new private hospital, which will soon become a teaching hospital and where when you graduate, you can also do your housemanship, right? And this is situated in Negri Sembilan. Here you will have hands-on experience in a teaching hospital environment. Now, at the same time, you'd find that there will be in-house housemanship, which means that soon the government will allow us to be used, the hospital to be used to, as a housemanship center. So you can then stay back in an environment that you're already comfortable with and do your two-year housemanship. Now, apart from that, there are also other unique features that we have here. The second thing is that in the course of the study, which is five years, after two years, you have the opportunity to do research at Harvard Medical School. So you take off one year and you spend time with the medical doctors at one of the Harvard hospitals. And this, this trip for you is sponsored 70% by UCSI and you just have to pay 30%. So this is a choice that you can choose to do or not to do. And um, of course, it is the Harvard professors who will, to, will select the candidates. The third thing is that we have global employability. And that is because we also help you to try to sit for your US MLE examination. What is that? It is the United States Medical Licensing Examination. For a short fee, we will train you yearly so that you can set the first two exams in Malaysia. And then after the, for the final exam, when you graduate, you go to the States to do your residency, and then you will be globally employed. So that's the, the, fourth, the fourth thing that we have. Um, the whole facility here is actually very uh, friendly. We have hostel, hostels nearby. You have places to stay. Your com uh, accommodation is very conveniently located and which is just about two kilometers away. Right? And you have minimal distraction, okay? So these are the main three unique factors. Okay, thank you, Doctor. So international students in this particular program are mostly from which country, Doctor? Okay. Well, we, we have quite a range, actually. Uh, we have students uh, from Somalia. We have students from Iraq, from Oman, from Yemen, from the African subcontinent, Bangladesh, India, China, Indonesia, Singapore. I'm still going on. Myanmar, Canada, uh, Pakistan, Maldives, and even the Kingdom of Lesotho. Yeah. That's a, that's a huge list of a countries. List, actually, yeah. we've, we've had them come and go different years. There are different batches, but they've been coming. I see. Okay. Can you uh, share some success stories or graduate employment from this program? Like, are there any successful alumni who have worked in the industry? Well, actually, from the Harvard experience, we have also some of them who have completed the USMLE. Altogether, 20 students have actually uh, gone to Harvard in, uh, in, over the past uh, five or six years, and all of them are employed, right? So there, some of them have opened their own clinics. Uh, some are working in private healthcare centers. And generally, basically, uh, the alumni, are, are we are closely associated with our alumni. Sometimes they come and give us talks as well, which I arrange journal clubs so the students can gain and ask questions. 
relating to the workforce when they enter the workforce. I see. Okay. So, uh, and my last question for today is, may I know the overall percentage rate for graduate on time for students who have been in this program? Okay. Um, well, we have 99% all right, of graduates who graduate within five years. Of course, those who go to Harvard will take six years. And the 1% that I say do not graduate on, on, on time, it's not that they don't graduate, they probably have decided to change course. So we help them to go with the Faculty of Pharmacy or the Faculty of Applied Sciences or to courses that we don't have, then we guide them and help them to gain, help some of the, them to gain what you call credit transfers. So it's, it's pretty good. 99% I think is very good. Yeah, that's definitely a very good, you know, GOT for UCSF. Yes. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Professor Shamla, for joining us today and sharing such valuable insights about Doctor of Medicine program at UCSI University Spring Hill campus. Students, for any inquiries, you may drop me an email at azlina at educationmalaysia.gov.my or send us a message on our Facebook page. All right. Before we end the session, let's hear a message from EMJS CEO, Mr. Mohamed Razlan Jalamuddin. With that, I hope to see you again in the next Cost Talk series. Stay tuned, guys. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, and welcome to all students. I'm Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin from Education Malaysia Global Services. Thank you for joining EMGS Cost Talk series. Malaysia is definitely the best choice for you to pursue your studies regardless of programs or level of studies. Our quality of education is well recognized globally. The cost of living here is reasonable too. Malaysia is a beautiful country that is strategically located in the heart of Asia. You can experience a dynamic lifestyle with exciting adventures and places to explore. In addition, our cultural diversities make us unique. Moreover, your safety and well-being are our utmost priority as Malaysia is currently ranked 20th in the 2020 Global Peace Index Report. These reasons make Malaysia very unique and should be your preferred destination to further your studies. Rest assured, you will experience an education journey unlike any other. We welcome you with open arms and hope to see you soon in Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Selamat datang ke Malaysia.